Hey everyone, Davey here. Right, so I'm going to be doing, launching the Let's Build series um, probably tomorrow evening. Um, however, because I'm going to be building quite a lot, I thought it might be really helpful just to make maybe a 5-10 minute video basically just on where you get all your resources from. A lot of you guys will know where I'm going to be going here. I'm going to try and visit a few areas where you can, for example, scavenge quite a few pieces. Um, however, it would... Because what I don't want to do is start doing these massive builds and then you guys start building them and then completely run out of wood and steel really fast. So this is just a quick, quick short video just to kind of go over the basics on where you find uh, these resources. So basically, I'm in Diamond City right now. Um, a lot of you know about this area and the resources you can get here, but for those of you who don't, this is where you get most of your shipment. So for example, if I go to Myrna here. Hey, Myrna. Sup, Myrna. Shut up, Myrna. Right, okay, so if I go to Barter, Here's what we got. Um, if I go to Junk, um, and you can sort it, um, if you just press the first sort one, in my case, it is the L3 button. She, you see she has loads of shipments. Now, these are obviously quite expensive. She normally has between one, to either one or four stacks of 100 steel. She has ceramic, plastic, fertilizer, springs, adhesive. Obviously, you probably notice it's quite expensive. Um, there are various ways you can get the money for this. Personally, I just sell my ship, guns and crap. I also make a fuck ton of jet um because i do like making jet so this is where you get your steel from and ceramic you're going to be using quite a bit for um any pylons you make right so that's murder sorted um then you've got arturo rodriguez who basically sure. is the guy you get most of your copper from um so he has aluminium copper gear screws again it's in smaller stacks um usually what i like to do is just i buy some copper rest for well disappear um like leave the area come back in and then i buy another stack because generally a nice fit a stack of 50 copper will generally light up a small settlement um and you also have your aluminium here which we've been using a lot um uh, for just various electronics as well as gears as well for turrets right so then we've got what's his name mo that's it hey mo i love this guy with a little more stopping power uh, stainless steel nails, my friend. <laughs> I never skipped that part. <laughs> Let's see what you have. <laughs> right, so basically, uh, Mo is the guy who sells you all the wood. I don't actually don't think I've ever used cork for anything. He sells it in stacks of a hundred. So that's um, Diamond City. I think there might be a few in here. Um, the others might sell other stuff as well, like cloth. To us, these are the three I use. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to a couple of the settlements that you might not know where you can buy resources, and I'll show you who to talk to. Talk to you in a sec. So right, guys, now I'm at Grey Garden. Uh, for those who haven't visited this area before, it's literally just a short jaunt away from Sanctuary. So you've got Concord, the Drumlin Diner, um, and it's just down the road. A lot of you would have walked by it. Again, I know this is pretty basic, but I just wanted to have a kind of nice, concise little video that just kind of tells you where to get all this resource. So here's Grey Garden here. It is a settlement. You do have to begin a quest to unlock it, but I believe you can actually talk to Super Supervisor Green who is the guy who is the trader in the area. So this is Supervisor Green. Green. Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? He sounds like a game show That'd host. Right. Um, and basically he'll sell cloth, concrete, fertilizer, leather, and wood. Again, wood is the thing you probably noticed already. You're going to be burning through huge amounts of it. But if, like me, you're a chem fiend, really good place to get some fertilizer as well. Um, and by the way, if you want to make jet, it's fertilizer and plastic. Right, so that's... Grey Garden. Um, do you like my little shitey little stairs as well? You build little stairs up there. Maybe there's a there's a surprise for you. Just 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 saying. Right. Anyway, next location. Right, guys. Welcome. We are now at Abernathy Farm, um, which is again, it's just um, what south of Sanctuary and west of Concord. It's really close. To be honest, when you get to the Red Rocket Truck Shop, you can actually see the little marker on your map. Um, you will have to do a quest here again. I think you can still use the vendor, um, but there is a nice little quest here, and it is an absolutely awesome building. Also, for some weird reason, it seems to get loads of vertebrates flying around it. Oh, there you go. And on a quick note, this is also where I dump off Kate, and have done pretty much since the first 30 minutes that I met her, because she keeps thinking I'm staring at her ass. Yeah. It's alright, I'm not going to lie, however... Got Hancock over there. Can't really compete, love, to be honest. So, what you want to do is Connie. 
Where the hell's Connie? Where is she? Connie is this lass here in the mechanic suit. I appreciate what you've done for us, for Mary. You'll always be welcome here. Thanks. She also randomly insults you as well, so she'll say something really nice and then be complete twat. Um, so basically, sure. with her again, it's really similar because it's a farm area. Um, so it's very similar to Grey Gargoyle. So cloth, concrete, fertilizer, leather, wood. A little route around that will get you 200 wood. If you want to rest for 24 hours, travel around a little bit, you can then get 400. And, and basically, basically. It also, with her, once you've done the quest you do in this area, you get a slight discount. Um, I believe that's about 30 caps cheaper than Grey Garden. So a quick note there. Right, now, that is the vendors that I know of. There probably are more. Um, but those are the, the three I use. I'm going to quickly show you one other area, which a lot of you may know about, where you can get absolutely shed tons of wood. One sec. Welcome back. Right, so we are at Spectacle Island, which you guys may have seen from my last tutorial video. For those of you who don't know where it is, basically, you've got um, Warwick Homestead there, you've got the castle over here, Adam Cat's Garage. You do have to swim across the ocean to get to it. It's not too far, um, but may I suggest popping a few rad X's, um, wearing a hazmat suit and maybe equipping, making sure you have a little bit of rad away, but once you're here, you've discovered it's your grand. You will have to do, not a quest, but you will have to, uh, don't wanna give it much to away. Bring loads of guns, um, explosives. I'm a big fan of psycho jet and a rocket launcher. Um, missile launcher rather, but once you've done the little thing you have to do here, this is Well, you notice it's quite barren right now. The reason being is it's covered in trees. Um, I actually got around 3,600 wood from this area um, So you might want to bring some power armor as well and a companion to actually transport it back I mean, obviously you can set up a supply line as well um, But for whatever reason you're down on settlers. Um, just a quick note as well um you see you've got these power lines going to this area here. It's part of the, the Wii objective you have to do. Aesthetic choice, I'd recommend recommending quick saving and checking what trees you're scrapping because basically I can actually scrap these trees. But then those power lines are gone and I can't get those trees back. And obviously you can have pylons if you want. They've got a cut. I didn't put that, that one just there. But I quite like the look of the trees with the power conduits attached. And also, because I didn't realise as well, if you go over here, oh, over we go, you see those big pile of um, shipping crates over there? They are stock full of small wooden boxes. So many. I didn't even realise. I, I just, you know, I did a little bit of explorer there to see if there were any, you know, there's a couple of items you can pick up. Um, but let me just show you. I've probably scrapped quite a lot of them. I don't know if I've scrapped all of them yet. Um, but little... Can I go there? No, I can't go there. Dickhead. Right. So there's loads of... Because there are a few of them I've still not scrapped. Basically, these containers are just full of little wooden boxes. And you get around... I know, buddy, I know. Um, you get around five wood per crate. And that's not very much. Yeah, I've done most of them, I think. Um, if not all of them. But there's quite a lot in here. There we go. See, look at this. I haven't done this one yet. So if I go over here like this... Five wood. Five wood. It's not much, but... These crates are full of these things. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this one just to kind of give you guys just a kind of heads up on where you get um, a lot of the resources that I've been um, <laughs> scavenging around for. Because you can imagine, I mean, if you're building one settlement, pretty much, like for example, if you're, I used all of the wood here to build up Sanctuary. Um, and it was absolutely fantastic. It saved me tens of thousands of caps. Um, unless you're building like me where you're building multiple settlements, obviously as you see I pretty much I've got about maybe three four hundred wood um, So I'm having to buy it, but this should cover you for one Large settlement quite comfortably. All right guys. Well, let's build. I'm gonna be recording tonight I'm actually gonna have to edit that one and this one as well. It's gonna be a pain in the ass um, But and then after that as well, I'm working on the slog So I'm gonna get more cohesion in these tutorials a little bit and I'm at, as you probably gather with this one as well I'm gonna try and branch out to give you guys a bit more of a a few comprehensive guides on where to find certain things, um, particularly areas where you can scavenge copper is my next idea. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon.